It's Victor and Tomoko desu. And today we're going to do a little. Uh, well, actually, Tomoko has prepared a lesson for us today. So I'm going to go along with her. I'm going to read the English for you, and she'll read the Japanese. And then I'll read the Japanese as well, so you can hear the difference. The first one, very common in Japanese, uh, very many people say it all the time, mm. and Japanese love to say it. <laughs> uh, it can't be helped. It can't be helped in Japanese. Shoganai. 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 Now, shoga also means ginger. Right? <laughs> shoga means ginger. And so, um, I think uh, one of um, one of my YouTube friends, uh, uh, kind of nerdy friends, likes to say shoganai. She's waiting for someone to ask her if you if you have ginger, so she can say shoganai. But actually, <laughs> it means it can't be helped. So when something happens and you know it couldn't be helped, you say shoganai. Shoganai. How about past tense? Eh, shoganakatta. Shoganakata. Mm -hmm. So after it's over and it couldn't, it couldn't have been helped. There was nothing you could have done about it. Shoganakata. Mm -hmm. The next expression, very useful one, super useful, is mm -hmm. if it, well, this word actually has many, many meanings depending on the situation. But uh, one of the most common is please help me or. So actually, the word yoroshiku, yoroshiku, you add to any request. So you have kind of a long conversation and you ask someone, please do this for me, and at the end, you say Yoroshiku. Just add it to the end, right? Okay, there you go, very useful question. Yoroshiku. And of course, there's no past tense to that one. One of my favorite ones, I like this next one, good choice by the way. The next one is a very useful expression when you go to a restaurant or an izakaya, Japanese pub. Sometimes uh, while you're you know, looking at the menu, you're going to order one thing just to get started. For example, we'll start with beer, and in Japanese. Toriaizu, beer. Toriaizu. This is one of the first like cool expressions I learned. My friends taught me in a bar. They say, "Oh, you say this to the waiter, they're impressed. They're like, "Oh, he knows what he's doing, you know." So I don't, I'm not sure where it comes from or what it means, but it just means for now. For now, beer. So it doesn't have to be beer. You can say "toriaizu shishamo." I like shishamo. Of course. Oh, or if you order a few things, like order "toriaizu beer," "shishamo," "edamame," and "tabasaki." Toriaizu. Just say Toriaizu, and that tells the waitress that'll be it for now, and we'll probably get some more later. Okay. The next expression is also very useful. I'll leave it up to you. Omakase shimasu. So, for example, nani ga hoshii desu ka? Nani ga ii desu ka? Nani wo tanomimasu? Anata ni omakase shimasu. She'll leave it up to me. Anata ni omakase shimasu. Anata ni. In this case, anata is okay. Not too anata de yo, betsu ni yo. There's a big debate about some people think anata is rude. Then, bikuta ni, bikuta ni, bikuta ni, bikuta ni, bikuta ni, omakase shimasu. Omakase shimasu. Or in this case, tomoko ni, omakase shimasu. Okay? Thank you very much. That's our mini lesson today. Four useful expressions. Oboite kudasai. Thanks for watching, everyone. Tomoko, arigato. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.